Hi, True Crew. How you doing? Russell, TrueResults303.com. Check out the website. Link in the description box. Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Put in the healing back in health. Follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. The podcast is out there as well. Links down below. Hi, True Crew. So we're going to talk about wisdom and prudence and how you can't have really have one without the other. The two work off of each other, and from there... They build a stronger relationship with others and a stronger relationship with God. So you can't have one without the other. And if you think about it, I was going to look it up and I forgot to look it up. I think it was, uh, <clears throat> who was it? Was it Solomon? I think it was King Solomon. When God asked him what he wanted, he asked for wisdom, right? And then became one of the richest men in the world. <clears throat> so we've got to understand what wisdom is first. <clears throat> because in Catholic tradition, prudence would be one of the virtues. I, think I got one of my beard hairs in my throat. Sorry. <clears throat> but wisdom is always understanding the big picture, right? Always deep thinking on God, purpose, the universe, where you want to be five years from now, ten years from now, what kind of father you want to be, what kind of mother you want to be, uh, what legacy you want to leave in life, those are that's wisdom, those big, the big picture, right? Uh, so that's what wisdom is going to be, that deep thinking, that quiet time to contemplate the most important questions in life, right? Like everybody says they want to be a great father, a great mother, a great parent, but what does that truly mean, right? In reality, it doesn't really mean... I need to buy my son, my daughter, the new iPhone when it comes out. I need to make sure that they have the newest pair of Jordans, the newest pair of this, the newest pair of that. That's not truly what it means to give your children a better life than you have. Right? Sorry, that hair still bothering me. I don't have my coffee with me. But, so, what is prudence then, right? Wisdom is the big picture. The whole. So what does that mean? Prudence is going to be every day, right? So wisdom would be, where's your life going to end? Right, that same concept of, what are they going to write on your gravestone? What is, yeah, there it is, got it. What's going to be on your gravestone? What are they going to say at your funeral? Right, that's wisdom, the end goal. So that means prudence is going to be your day-to-day -day actions, right? If you're trying to lose weight, you know that sitting on the couch, eating TV dinners and McDonald's and Taco Bell is not the right thing to do. So prudence is that everyday choice, right? Everyday choice to the big picture. The big picture is a healthy lifestyle, a healthy weight, no more medication. So every day I must choose healthy foods to get out and walk and to move and to do these things. That's prudence. Wisdom is I want health. I need to do this. This is my plan. Prudence is every day keeping that in mind and following the path. Right? So that's why I've said before as well, I think one of the worst sayings in is, I believe that people say, I believe the journey is more important than the destination. Right? Well, no, because the destination is perfect health. I, you need both, right? The destination is heaven, not hell. So you need to know the destination. You need to have that wisdom in life. And then you must have that everyday attack of life, which is the prudence. Those choices that you make every day to get you on the way, to get you on the path of where you need to go. Right? So in reality, if you want your children to have a better life than you, what can you do daily that your parents didn't do for you? Did they not spend more time with you? Did they not, did they not, they did not turn off the TV and tell you to read a book? Did they did not push you to be better every single day? So that's what you need to do with your children, but in a loving manner, of course. So prudence and wisdom, you need both in life. Just like the journey is just as important as the destination, right? So there you go, nice, short, sweet. Uh, once again, I got this off of, I, I bought a Catholic study course by Dr. Taylor Marshall, this, the New St. Thomas Institute, I think it's called. I was just uh, taking one of the classes, watching one of the videos on 
uh, the virtues. And this was a part of it. And I thought that's very important because, you know, when you're younger too, <clears throat> you know, like if you don't want to kiss someone or you don't want to make out your prude. So prude ints, right? It's prude ints. It's making a good decision. And we've once again flipped these things around to, to make people feel bad that you're making the right decision. Right? We all know that, unfortunately, in today's world, doing the right thing is a negative thing in today's world, unfortunately. Right? It's a negative thing. Uh, but you've got to stick the path because we've got to understand that sometimes God's reward is completely different than the rewards of this world. And you stay on that right path and good things are going to happen. Don't let your morals, don't let your virtues, don't let your values be shifted and corrupted all because of this earth and the way people are going to treat you based on your lifestyle. So once again, I hope this helps. Don't forget to follow on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. The podcast is out there. Become a part of the true crew. Subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.